I think one of the biggest red flags for a hitting instructor that spends a lot of time in the cage is one that focuses on the result versus the process on how to create a favorable result. And this is no more so true that the hitting coach is telling a hitter, hey, you're rolling over at the point of contact, you need to get extension through that ball. Extension, the final portion of the swing before the follow through, is all predetermined by the launch sequence. So to be good out on the front side, I've had to have every portion of the sequence correct on the back side. I always compare the swing sequence to like a long row of dominoes, each one pushing energy into the next to make the next segment go or fall down. And the end, end portion of this swing, or the end of the row of dominoes, the last one to fall is the extension portion of the swing. So every domino had to be correct in the sequence in order for the last domino to fall correctly, in order for me to get that extension through the ball. Focusing on the portion of contact beyond is simply a waste of time. By teaching the swing sequence properly, a hitter is always going to be inside the baseball and has a chance for proper extension. A correct swing sequence that has the lower body, the rear leg, firing open the hip chassis against a resisting upper body, slotting the rear elbow close to my body, getting connected, and continuing to turn to rotation at the proper point of contact. When my hands are launched, the bat is spent. In fact, the bat is ballistic as, as it gets to contact. So my hand path has been determined by the launch sequence. The hand-eye coordination portion of the swing is the last and final part, but still doesn't have anything to do with the extension. And that means simply being able to adjust my hands by pulling in, should I be laid on a pitch, or making sure that I disconnect a little sooner in the swing if the pitch is away. But at that point, when the barrel head is launched, the bat is spent, and your extension or lack thereof was predetermined by all those previous steps during the process. So actually working on extension inhibits a hitter from getting to it correctly. What I see hitting coaches often do is putting the ball further out in front and telling hitters you need to stay through this ball further out in front. When hitters do this, their upper body gets ahead of their lower body, which makes it impossible to be in the correct se swing sequence because we're losing our legs once we break forward of center. Hitters can achieve success in that type of drill, but are using a hand slappy punch to the ball that's gonna have a little power behind the baseball because you're losing your legs in the swing. So get extension the right way. How do you do that? Get in sequence. Extension, like getting inside the baseball, are things that I never have to talk about in the cage because if I teach the process correctly, it's a byproduct of achievement.